Hello, is this Tanya? This is Tanya. Can this, me? Yeah, I can hear you fine. Tanya, this is Dean McMurray. So uh, I apologize. I, I actually went live, so I'm actually recording now. So we're going to do it a little bit different. Evidently, my system doesn't like the other way. So until we get the bugs worked out, we'll roll with this. So if you're if you're good with that, we'll go ahead and uh, I see that you're joining us. So yeah, I so, have you on mute. So I can <laughs> You can hear me okay, though. Yep, I can. I can hear you just fine. So we'll we'll go with this uh, setup. So beautiful. So thank you for being a guest on uh, episode two of Off the Radar. I'm really excited to uh, being able to uh, give you a reading for all of our listeners out there. Um, Tanya was one of the ones, um, just like everybody else, that went to the website and. Um, if you click the go live tab and then uh, find the um, uh, off the radar uh, sign up form, you can certainly uh, get the opportunity to get a free reading for myself and future episodes uh, as we continue these series. Um, and one of the things is now, is it correct, Tanya? Did I read the form correctly? You're calling from Kansas this evening? Yes. Yeah. Okay, beautiful. So, all right, and let me just describe to you really quick, Tanya, how I uh, I worked my readings. Is I'll connect to you, connect to spirit stepping forward to communicate with you. I'll give you a brief description of who I'm seeing, sensing. They'll take a brief pause and ask you if that's somebody you can recognize, validate. If you can, terrific. We'll go ahead and uh, deliver the message. If you can't, I'll go back and get as much information as I can. If you still can't validate who it is, I will still deliver the message. And trust that who it is and their message will make sense a bit down the road. Does that sound good? Sounds good. Okay, so one of the things uh, with me, and I just want to preface this for everybody else listening, as well as you, obviously, Tanya, is um, regardless of somebody's religious affiliation or non-religious affiliation, it quite honestly doesn't make any difference to me. Um, During my readings, I work a lot with archangels. Um, so I always ask them to step in during the reading and share any details or any messages that they are, um, if they have anything to share. Okay. So okay. with, without any further ado, I want to talk about is connecting for you. And obviously, and I'm just going to show, and if you're watching from home, obviously I got a big scribble paper with notes that I was sitting, um, making all these annotations from spirit and the angels. So it was really crazy as soon as I started connecting to you, Tanya. It was just like, it was just everything. I don't want to say everything went to hell because it just sounds really bad. But everything started going crazy. And in a sense, like, it was like I opened the door to a party. And I was like, holy crap, everybody is just, everybody's showing up. And what I mean by that is when I kept asking uh, angels to step forward, and archangels to step forward to really share any messages. It was absolutely nuts. So first and foremost, boom, he almost knocked me over, is Archangel Michael. We under, understand is Archangel Michael is very much, of course, all about protection. Of course, he wears many other hats about fertility and many other things. But he just shows up so big for you um, and just really big as far as almost a <laughs> Almost he's kind of, in a sense, his, his way, almost a representative for you. Um, kind of, kind of, you know, kind of the door bouncer, so to speak, for this uh, party that's going on as I describe this. It's really kind of funny. Um, so, and then right beside him is Archangel Gabriel. Now, Gabriel is uh, all about communication. So when we talk about folks that are uh, writers, speakers, anybody that has any type of message to convey, as well as those in the psychic realm. And one of the things, there's so many, it's almost like he's wearing a veil. And so that tells me is that you're very, um, not only in touch with your intuitive senses, but, um, you know, those divine senses. You're talking about clairaudience and clairvoyance and a few other things. Um, and just about bringing forward that, that, that divine message from those um, <clears throat> delivering that. So... And then the other thing I want to talk about is uh, Archangel Raphael kind of making a trio, if you will. Uh, you got so many others, and it's really kind of a 
I, I don't really want to just say you just have the three because there's so many others, but Archangel Raphael is really big. And so what I'm under and understanding that Archangel Raphael is all about not only healing, but also works with healers of all modalities. So that also tells me you're working with the innate healer within you. So that also tells me that you're working in some form of healing modality, either uh, energy healing or in some form or fashion of that. But the thing that I also want to talk about is the way that um, if you will talk about a general angel uh, presence in the background of where they're just making this b beautiful backdrop of just surrounded by angels would be quite the, um, you know, almost in that different realm. And uh, just really, uh, just a, it's just absolutely beautiful is, is really the word that I would bring. Does that make sense to you? Can, can you recognize? Yes, okay. yes. I, I'm just wondering how far they'll let you go. Okay, yeah, so, well, and here's the thing that um, uh, I, I also want to talk about because this also is very um, important is we talk about um, guides. So for those uh, that may not be aware of it, talking about spirit guides, we have different guides for different aspects in, in either what we do as work or in our life, whatever, but one of the things there's these two huge guides that come in very – and when I say huge, we're talking about the energy that they hold. And they are very, and just very powerful in their own right. But one of them feels a little bit newer to me. And when I say newer, a lot of your connection to the angel energy actually feels quite old. So it tells me that you've been working with angels for quite some time or working with these guides for quite some time. But the one angel that, or sorry, the one guy that does step forward feels rather new. So we're talking, you know, maybe within a few years or it could be even a little bit later, but in, in retrospect, it feels a little bit newer in a sense when we start Did talking. Did they give you a name? I didn't get a name associated with the guides or the angels, but it's just the presence of that as they're showing up for you. Does that make sense? Yeah, I was just wondering, there's a lot, so I was just wondering which one. <laughs> right, okay. Yeah, you got a lot going on, and that's a thing. It's just, and really the thing is, Tanya, and, you know, and letting everybody else know is that, you know, really it's this validation of, and as, it, and as you shared, that you can validate um, what that speaks to you. But the thing is, is this is validation saying, yep, they're there. And it's one of those things for you, um, you already get this. Um, and that's the thing that they're telling me. She already gets us. This is old hack, but it's more just about stating the facts. So, okay, let's move down to, and I want to talk about more importantly for you about um, spirit message because there's a lot going on, okay? So I want to talk about um, a, a male that does step forward on the father's side of the family. Um, one of the things that he kind of tells me is that he was very influential in your work, okay? One of the things that he also does is reference me to colon cancer. I understand that he would have passed from colon cancer, feels like he was in his late 70s to early 80s when he would have passed. Um, and just a very kind soul, one of those, um, you know, just very quiet but very kind as well. Um, and it's something when you talk about being very influential in your work or whatever, but always, in a sense, talking about um, doing what you love or going after your passion, in a sense, instilling that in that sense. Um, and then I also want to jump over to a female that does step forward on the mom's side of the family, understand that she would have passed in her 80s. I do see her with glasses. One of the things that she makes very clear and that's very specific with her. She holds up her brooch. That's a snowflake. So if you think of uh, uh, a snowflake-looking brooch, it's very specific. Um, it's almost, you know, uh, kind of like a, a, a raindrop effect or, or a snowflake effect, I guess, would be the, the best description of that. And the other thing that she also makes mention of is a teardrop pendant necklace very specific about the necklace and about the brooch um can i ask if uh take a brief pause here and ask you if you can recognize or validate either of those two individuals no okay 
Now, one of the things too, um, uh, Tanya, I also want to talk about a young man that steps behind you and at an angle. And I'm understanding typically for me when spirits step forward in this manner um, is uh, typically it's either <clears throat> not a blood relative. And this feels like somebody that <clears throat> a young individual that actually would have committed suicide. Uh, it was actually recently. Um, it feels uh, connected to you in a sense, either through a friend or it could be a, uh, a sibling of a friend or something like that. This is a non-relative uh, or non-blood connection. Um, I do understand, and I do get the name uh, Derek associated with them is one of the names that comes forward. So very interesting. Don't feel that he was very old. Understand that he would have been, oh, I, if he was 30, he was pushing it. So I would understand that he was in his, feels to me like he, uh, his mid-20s when he would have passed. And I also want to recognize and validate a female, um, and I'm understanding that she was in her 40s when she would have passed. Um, she steps forward in the same manner, um, and I see her with shoulder-length blonde hair, um, very pretty uh, lady. And one of the things I'm understanding is that she actually passed uh, from a car accident. So... Does that make sense? Can you recognize or validate those folks stepping forward? No. Okay. So one of the things I would share is that even if you can't validate who that is, um, I still trust that those individuals will make sense to you. Um, give me a second here. We're going to um, see who else is stepping forward. Okay, so I also want to recognize and validate a female that steps forward as well as on the mom's side of the family. I see her as a shorter, thin lady. Um, understand that she actually was quite older when she would have passed. Um, and, uh, you know, feels more like she was in her well into her 90s. Um, one of those real fiery dispositions with her. Um, so really, uh, really fun lady to talk to. It's almost... If you were to, uh, I guess, use a, 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 uh, somebody's, to try to get a, a baseline of somebody's uh, personality, I would say um, uh, the, the, older, the older lady on um, what was it, Golden Girls or whatever, always kind of uh, sharp like a tack, so to speak, but kind of also a, a fiery disposition with her as well. So um, I do, uh, do see her with glasses as well. Um, understand that she has an association. One of the things with, um, it's interesting because she also talks about healing. So I don't know if there was a healing connection or if there was a connection within your lineage, but one of the things that she also talks about healing. So it's almost feels to me like a, a natural or like in a sense herbal as well, but um, very interesting with her. Okay, so I'm going to go right into your message here. Um, so one of the things that um, I keep on hearing for you, Tanya, is really just make, talking about mo you moving forward to the next level in your given business. Um, really, the biggest thing is, and this comes more from you guys because this is talking about is really what uh, is bringing you forward, is um, talking about, um, getting a lot of blockages or a lot of obstacles out of your way. Um, so they kept on talking about the next level, next level, next level. And the next thing that they talked about was traveling west. So, um, and the other thing that they also talked about was, and I don't know if you've been talking about this, but it feels like after, potentially after a number of years, looking at physically moving. Have you guys been looking at moving? Um, no. Okay. So the thing that I would share that then obviously is if it hasn't, it, you know, if it isn't manifesting right at the point, it's uh, potentially something that's going to come up here in the future. And obviously we understand 
when we start talking about future events, it's always evolving. So whether what we do or don't do in the given moment, it can always change the outcome. Um, so it would be really interesting to hear what opportunities come forward for you um, that provides this opportunity as they're sharing of talking about eventually moving. So um, very interesting with that. So one of the things that, and I know these, um, these, these episodes that we're doing is kind of short in a sense, but, um, and, it's the, and the, the readings are more of kind of a snippet, but what I, um, what I kind of wanted to do, Tanya, since we are kind of doing the, the production piece as well, is uh, now that we're done with it, or basically uh, delivering their messages, can you share with us a little bit um, kind of uh, what you do or your background? Is there any validation that, you know, background yes. story? Okay, absolutely. Um, I am a psychic medium. Oh. I am a healer. I have an um, active page on Facebook. I, ooh, I lost you and I can't hear you. Okay. Oh, well, there you go. Stay okay. Good. Yep. I'm still here. Um, and um, he, uh, I train people how to do healing work. I move energy. I, um, I'm a channeler. I can't say that one more time. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Uh, can you hear me okay? Yeah, I can hear you okay. just fine. I'm quiet listening to you. Okay. Sorry, there's a delay with the, with the, um, with the uh, video. So I'm a channeler. I channel, um, I channel all sorts of entities and, um, and channel people's past loved ones. So when you were picking up on my team, that makes complete sense because I have a huge team that I channel and I give people messages, but I also move energy and all sorts of stuff. So the healing aspect, yes, that's, um, what I've been what I've been doing. So yeah, I have uh, been blessed by spirit. I've had two NDEs and um, two open heart surgeries. So that's as long of history. And I've always been empathic and been able to teach people how to. Um, my kind of slogan is changing the way we look at spirituality because I am tired of everybody thinking we're gypsies that look into a crystal ball. Oh. I'm a wife. I have children. And I show that this is something that you can do. And our souls are navigation system. So as you use your intuition, that you can use this in your everyday life. And everybody has this ability. And it's important to stop and listen to yourself. Because that's where we, um, I guess, came off the rails. Beautiful. Beautiful. Well, thank you. That's, that, that is awesome. So, Thank you so much for the messages. I'm glad you got to see my team. Hey, absolutely. And, and I just got to really say is that you absolutely have a beautiful, powerful team. And um, just for the listeners, um, you know, uh, share with us your, um, since you were sharing that uh, you're also a psychic medium, please share with us uh, your info, like your website. Yeah, I would understand that you would have a website or a way to contact you if somebody feels guided? I, I do. I have a profess, I have a uh, business Facebook page. It's Talking with the Angels. And my um, website is talkingwiththeangels.com. Yeah. And I also um, have a podcast, Talking with the Angels. And I also have Cooking with the Angels, where oh, I... Cool. So where I cook and show that I'm an everyday person and I channel messages as I cook a healthy meal. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Awesome. With my children running around. So. <laughs> I love it. Well, thank you so much. And I really appreciate it. I know we were having some, some glitches, but uh, there, when there's a way, there's a will. Or when there's a will, there's a way, right? That's right. Thank you so much for all, all right. you do. Continue to share and spread your light. All right. Beautiful. Thank you. You as well. Thanks. All right. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Yeah, you too. Bye-bye. All right, friends. Thanks for joining us tonight for episode two. I know it was a little bit of a, a snafu, and uh, but we got her done. <laughs> and uh, it's always interesting. You never know who I'm going to connect with. I never know. Um, and uh, all I do is obviously if you've been on the forum, you fill out your name and your city and and, and a way to get a hold of you. Um, and then we go from there. So it's always interesting. Look at tonight. 
uh, a fellow psychic medium out of Kansas. So a beautiful thing. Another person spreading the light in another part of the world. And that's what it's all about. Empowering and, and helping other people heal. And if you've been following me or, or know what I do, um, you know, that's the message about, um, and, that's, and that's a premise of Off the Radar is helping people heal at, you know, help reach more people and helping more people heal. So, and spreading that light. So, beautiful thing. Hey, uh, real quick before I let you guys go, I'm really excited uh, just uh, talking about, again, uh, beating the drum about uh, the Red, White, and You Tour, um, finishing up uh, some ticket links for the events out in Washington coming up mid-July. Um, and I just want to remind you, if you would like to host a tour stop, please jump over to my website, themilitarymedium.com, and go to Event tab, scroll down to the Red, White, New Tour, and fill it out, and let me know uh, where you're at, and we will start looking at putting a tour together in your area. So I really want to appreciate uh, each and every one of you uh, connecting with me tonight. Uh, I'm really excited for episode three because episode three will be brought to you uh, from Bay Center, Washington. I'm really excited. If you have not seen the pictures, little snippets of, you know, about the area that we're going to be in, it's going to be absolutely mind blowing. Um, so uh, make sure you subscribe so you get notifications when we're live. So um, that will be mid July. So I'm really excited. And of course, we'll put stuff out there. So make sure you're watching this page. So just wanted to scroll down. I know there's a ton of comments real quick. And I'm just going to say hi to a few folks Laura, Tanya, Mary, uh, Mickey, Kristen, Mary. Okay. Laura. Okay. Uh, Marilyn, Terry, Terry, let's see, Don, Kimberly, Julie, Victoria, Janita, Aaron, Chicky, Molly, uh, Carrie, Don, Tanya, hello, 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 um, Roberta, Manny, Jessica, Taryn, hello, 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 uh, Crystal, Becky, Jenny, and one of the things I just want to share, a lot of people asking for a reading tonight was episode two of Off the Radar with the Military Medium. And basically, if you would like to have the opportunity to have a free reading by myself um, and be um, uh, here on Facebook Live, um, go to my website, themilitarymedium.com, and there's a Go Live tab. Just click on that, fill out the information. Um, and you basically join the pool of individuals that um, have submitted their names. Jeff, hello, Taryn, Kathy, Don, do, 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 okay. Danielle, Denise, Taryn, Jamie Fox, okay, beautiful. Thank you for sharing that. That's awesome, Diane. So beautiful. And I know, and one of the things that's beautiful because, um, with Tanya and um, there's so many of you that I know that are friends of not only me, but follow me or whatever and, and vice versa uh, that are immensely gifted. And what I would uh, urge you um, is to share your light to uh, er others so then they too can share the same light. So, all right. Well, have a great night, friends, and we will talk to you later. God bless. All right. Bye-bye.